Opening prayer led by Charles Owen. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all your blessing that you have given to us. We gather here on Zoom online to worship you. May your Holy Spirit be with us. So uh, you will be with us from start until the end of this worship program. And please bless our speaker tonight and please bless each one of us. So the word of God that we heard is not just passed away, but we can apply it in our daily life. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's hear the special song by Desti, Laura, and Octaviana.
Thank you for a special song. Before we hear of uh, the word of God, let's sing our theme song, Karya Terbesar. Karya Terbesar Pengorbananmu yang selamatkanku, engkaulah harta yang tak ternilai yang ku miliki. Now let us prepare your heart and your mind to listen the sermon that will be delivered by Pastor, uh, future Pastor Anwar Jemristan. Hello, welcome and thank you for joining us in this program and in this time uh, I have opportunity to bring the sermon uh, and also it is a challenge for me because I must bring this sermon in English not in Indonesian language and in this time my sermon title is Bible tell us about knowledge and wisdom when we see the slide the first slide I I took uh, what is knowledge what is knowledge knowledge is information that has been combined with understanding and the potential to be act that then becomes embedded in one's mind that uh, potential to imply to, imp to imply our uh, understanding and uh, what is wisdom? Wisdom is the ability to choose right or wrong, so it's more applicable. It's uh, more practicing. And uh, what is wisdom? The other source say, wisdom is how do we an exact knowledge that we have? How do we apply knowledge that we have. Uh, Ellen the Ginner say, knowledge is power and you need strength in this world. You need power in this world. You need as much advantage as possible. But go far, far away before Ellen the Ginner say, Bible already tell to us in uh, Ecclesiastes, 7 verse 19 wisdom makes one wise person more powerful than the ten rulers in the city and also proverbs 
24 verse 5 tell to us the wise prevail through great power and those who have knowledge master their strength okay knowledge will encourage our minds to think about maybe assignments and wisdom will encourage will encourage us not only to think about assignments but to take concrete action step to complete our task okay how do uh, we acquire knowledge and wisdom how do we uh, obtain how do we have wisdom and knowledge in proverbs 1 verse 7 this is the famous uh, verse in bible the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and discipline fear of the lord mean is uh maybe we worship him not maybe uh we worship him uh trust trust to him and also obey him and everything else that make us uh near to god and proverbs uh, 2 verse 6 for the lord give wisdom and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding if we say about knowledge come from lord maybe uh we speak about good wisdom we speak about wish good wisdom if uh wisdom from lord not about evil and in proverbs 8 verse 33 listen to my instruction and be wise do not ignore it listen to uh god instruction is maybe god instruction come with our teacher or maybe god instruction come with uh people that who have uh, more experience than us and in james 1 verse 5 if any of you lacks wisdom he should ask god and who gives you generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to him when we ask god to give us wisdom we will know the characteristic the wisdom from god and now the first i want to show to us about the characteristic when the wisdom not from heaven where the wisdom not from god james 4 verse 14 until 16 but if you harbor bitter and fight and selfish ambition in your hearts do not boast about it or deny the truth such wisdom not come from heaven but is earthly and spiritual of the devil for where you have and fight and selfish ambition then you find disorder in every 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 practice when the wisdom is not come from heaven you will find disorder and every 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 practice and the characteristic when the wisdom from heaven when the wisdom from god in james 4 verse 17 until 18 but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure then peace laughing considerate submissive full of mercy and good fruit impartial and sincere peacemakers who sow in peace rise a harvest of righteousness when the characteristic come from heaven okay 
when we ask God to give us knowledge, to give us wisdom, and after we have knowledge and wisdom, what will we do? What will we do if God already give it to us? Okay, in 2 Peter 1 verse 5 until 7, for this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance good lines and to good lines brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love okay this this first is very important to us but i want to uh show to you about knowledge for our knowledge for uh, our knowledge we must add self-control i will uh, show to us the story in the bible about knowledge that uh, the kings asked to god to give to him to give to him and what the king do after he have what he asked to god Uh, the king of Solomon in true chronic chronicles 1 verse 1 Solomon son of David established himself firmly over his kingdom and for Lord his God was with him and made him exceedingly great in 1 Kings 4 verse 30 until 32 God gave to him the bigger knowledge and wisdom God gave to Salomo bigger knowledge and bigger wisdom because Salomo came to God and asked to him and God gave to him bigger knowledge and wisdom and Salomon's wisdom was greater than the wisdom of all the men of the east and greater than all the wisdom of the Egypt and he spoke three thousand proverbs and his songs number a thousand of five. When the first time God gave to Solomon knowledge and wisdom, Solomon built the temple of God and he do the everything that makes his uh, kingdom good. But the last of Solomon we will see in 1 Kings 10 verse 1 until uh, 13 Kings of Solomon loved many foreign women and Solomon did evil in the eyes of the Lord and the Lord became angry with Solomon because his heart had turned away from the Lord his heart turned away from the Lord because the knowledge that he he asked to God and God already gave to him. He used it just to uh, just to serve himself. Salomo could not control himself. His five delicate sins became dull. The spirit of caution and consideration at the start of his reign changed. The nature of arrogance, ambition, extravagance, and indulgence leads to cruelty and exhortation he who used to be a just merciful government and a good fearing rule has now become a tyrant and an oppressor Solomon ins insulted himself insulted the Israelites and insulted God the beginning of the nail this is the second person that I want to tell to us about his wisdom and knowledge that he have from God. In Daniel 1 verse 17, to these four young men God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning. And Daniel could understand vision and dream of all kinds. In Daniel 2 
verse 20 until 21. Daniel, the first time, Daniel prayed, praised God for from him alone are wisdom and strength. God has power over the times, over the ruler of the world. He gives wisdom and knowledge to the understanding. And uh, we will see the last of Daniel. We know the story of Daniel is very long, but I just take the last of Daniel in Daniel 6, verse 29. So Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Daniel, Daniel appreciated his ability as a human being, but he didn't put faith in that. He believes in the power that God has promised for all who want to come to him, who want to depend on him, and who want to rely completely on his power. In Psalm 191st, 66 teach me knowledge and God judgment for I believe in your comments and uh, Psalm 146 verse 6 the maker of heaven and the earth the sea and the everything in them just as the plants created by God have various colors and shapes that decorate the earth, so we all have different wisdom and knowledge. But the main thing of all is how we we use how we. The main things is how we use them to serve God, not to be proud. Daniel live in Babylon among the people who do not know about God, but Daniel can restrain himself. Daniel was truly loyal to God and set a good example among people, not his country. But Solomon lived in Israel, a fellow worshiper of God, but was unable to control himself. The power that God gave him was only used to transform the power that God gave to him was only used to satisfy his desires. Solomon's wisdom and Daniel's wisdom are the same from one source that is from God, that is from heaven. But what distinguish their final story is how they use the wisdom of God and how it was used to serve God and the conclusion of my sermon is knowledge and wisdom from God must be used to always be connected with the giver because we are only tools to channel God's plan. Always ask from wisdom and through understanding to know the will of God perfectly by prayer, by feelings. And the last is stand like Daniel, the faithful statesman, one who cannot be destroyed by, the, by temptation. Do not disappoint him who loved you so much, who gave his life to take away your sin. Once again, do not disappoint him who loved you so much, who gave his life to take away my sin and your sin also. And may God bless us. We say thanks to future pastor Anwar Jindristana to bring God's words. We are from the Faculty of Philosophy Student Association who would like to appeal the all attendance because of the current pandemic, 
offering are collected after the pandemic is over and return to normal and offerings can be given to the philosophy faculty student members. So prepare and maintain the offerings. Give and we get a great heaven. The reward is great in heaven. Then us let be give. I will translate in Bahasa. Selamat malam buat kita semua. Kami dari Himpunan Mahasiswa Fakultas Filsafat ingin menghimbau kepada seluruh hadirin. Karena pandemi yang terjadi saat ini, persembahan dikumpulkan setelah pandemi selesai. Dan kembali normal, maka persembahan dapat diberikan kepada anggota Hima Fakultas Filsafat. Jadi, mari kita mempersiapkan dan menjaga persembahan yang akan kita berikan. Memberilah maka upamu besar di surga. Upamu besar di surga, maka memberilah. Terima kasih Tuhan memberkati. Oke, okay, we are now at the, the end of our worship program. Let us sing the closing song as the hymnal to him number 538, Guide Me. Closing praying by lead by Tracy. Okay, let us pray. Our oh, gracious Father in heaven, we thank thee because what a wonderful day we can gather here in Zoom. But it is online worship, we can also gather and uh, worship you and hear your word. Thank you, dear Lord, for those so much wonderful words that we heard just now. And Father, we thank thee because you have blessed each one of us and our family wherever they are. But thank you 
and thank you for this place. Ask and forgive our sin in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Today worship had ended. Thank you for joining us in future pastor worship program, especially for our grace and sir and ma'am. Till we till we will meet again in the next worship. May God bless. <laughs>